I took a peek ahead in our uh, First Corinthians, and to keep a perspective where Paul was going, and I do this. Uh, we've been going through First Corinthians with me, and and um, I want to do something a little bit different this morning. I uh, <clears throat> had considered uh, that uh, because of, because of our condition, all of the scripture. Uh, is written with our condition in mind, with a view to the provisions that God has given to us. So they, this is this is the perspective of, of, of Scripture, and uh, it has taken Paul twelve chapters to get to uh, try to balance what I would say would try to balance his instruction with the proper uh, uh, motive. I, I don't. I, I couldn't think of a better word than that. But he's 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 used twelve chapters up to chapter thirteen, mostly instruction, exhortation, and uh, rebuke, and these kind of things like this. And uh, I wanted to do something a little bit different this morning. I wanted to uh, I wanted to read uh, the thirteenth chapter of First Corinthians, kind of a paraphrase, and. Uh, it's a more excellent way. Amen. Paul has gotten the brethren to a point now that he can introduce a more excellent way. Uh, he says, Paul says, now concerning spiritual gifts, I would have you not ignorant. And uh, this is his final comment, chapter 12. And this is the verse he uses to introduce, chapter 13. But covet earnestly the best gifts, and yet I show you a more excellent way. Now he didn't call, I'm going to show you a more excellent thing. Uh, he called it a way. And excellent describes this way. And Paul says, it's a more excellent way. If you're going to the celestial city, well, Paul said this is the more excellent way to get there. And Paul, I, uh, he writes all this in the first person, you notice. If I speak with the eloquence of men and of angels, but have no charity, I become no more than blurring brass or crashing cymbal. If I had the gift of foretelling the future and holding my mind not only all human knowledge but the very secrets of God, and if I also have that absolute faith which can move mountains but have no charity, I amount to nothing at all. If I dispose of all that I possess, yes, even if I give my own body to be burned but have no charity, I have done precisely nothing. This affection of which I speak is slow to lose patience. It looks for a way of being constructive. It's not possessive. It is neither anxious to impress nor does it cherish inflated ideas of its own importance. Charity acts courteous and respectful and does not pursue selfish advantage. It is not easily offended. It is not touchy. It does not keep account or gloat over the wickedness of others. On the contrary, it is glad with all good men when truth prevails. Charity knows no limits to its endurance, no ends to its trust, no fading of its hope. It cannot last anything. As, uh, in fact, the one thing that still stands when all, when all else has fallen will be charity. As for prophecy, prophecies, they will be fulfilled and done with. As for tongues, the need for them will disappear. As for knowledge, it will disappear or vanish into truth. For our knowledge is always incomplete, and our prophecy is always incomplete. But when the complete comes, that is the end of the incomplete. When I was a child, I talked and felt and thought like a child. Now that I'm a man, my childish speech and feelings and thought have no further significance to me. At present, we are men looking at a puzzling reflection in a mirror. The time will come when we shall see reality whole and face to face. At the present, I know what I know is a little fraction of the truth. But the time will come when I will know it as fully as God knows me. At this time and in this place, we continue to have these three things, faith, hope, and charity. But the greatest of them is charity. Now, 
Paul is speaking of the charitable goodness of God. It belongs to God. And we've been, he's, been given it, he's given it to us, and we've been partakers of this charitable goodness. Now, not a word is said after he leaves this chapter. He doesn't, he doesn't uh, uh, go into try to define in detail exactly what this means or how we go about doing this. It, he leaves it right there. As Paul continues in his uh, uh, discussion of spiritual gifts and, and opening them up, exposition of them, this is the context in which he wants to go into chapter 14, Amen. for example. And uh, that uh, this is the context in which all the activities of God uh, 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 and, and his brethren and the people of God will do things in, in, this, in this frame of mind. The charitable goodness of God. Now, uh, it, I, I was I was taken with the fact that uh, we can we can we can have the knowledge of God, even 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 the secrets of God. We can have all of them, but if I if I if I'm not going in the right direction with these things, if I, if if I have the wrong motive, for example, if I haven't been set in the proper direction then it's, it's absolutely meaningless. What will I do with all these things if I, if I haven't been set in the, in the charitable goodness of God? That's what kind of struck me out. And I said, you know, I think I'll just just kind of uh, present this to the brethren this morning because I, I was edified by this renewal of a, of a, a new direction, or, or not a new direction, but a refreshment of this direction. Amen. This is a sobering word. And as we inch our way forward into kingdom God... We we want to we want to make sure that we progress in this. I I, I know I do, and so I uh, I present this to you, and uh, by the grace of God, we can. Paul he actually Paul is telling the brethren to continue in this. Okay, this 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 is a tense in which you. I want you to continue in these things. This, that's the tense of this this chapter, and uh, and so he 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 beckons to the uh, the brethren to continue in this in this way and by, and by the God uh, by the grace of God they can and by the grace of God we can and uh and and this is the way God he does it this is the way God uh, wants us to do it and uh and it's by the charitable goodness of God in the manner which God brings salvation you see it demonstrates to us his charitable goodness okay thank you brethren Amen.